may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope everybody out there is having a pleasant day. Uh, we'll do the prayers in this one. I didn't get to do it this morning because it was the program went a little bit long. So we will get the prayers in this morning. For this time, we'll do it in this video here. There's just so much going on, and we're going to get right into it. Now, remember, we talked about earlier about this Crimea Bridge. Uh, it's there. It's called the Curse Bridge, but it's in Crimea. And when I heard Greg talking about it, I had just this horrible feeling that this is what sparks it all up there between Russia and NATO. Ukraine and NATO are preparing a major attack uh, against Russian air bases in Crimea and the Curse Bridge. According to American media, Washington gave the green light to Kiev to attack the bridge. British admitted that this is also the main reason they are pursuing Germany's Olaf Schultz to deliver the Taurus missiles. The British expert explains why the following, they're better than the Storm Shadow, more stealth, fly over, and their warhead can go through the bridges. In the context, for the past 48 hours, a large NATO air activity has been recorded in the Black Sea. We've been watching air, uh, air refuelers, R-135s. Intelligence. I mean, it's the the Black Sea is just literally teeming with NATO right now. The Russian think tank Raybar revealed that there was three extensive uses for by Ukraine of decoys, which will help uh, help of NATO surveillance aircraft map the location of every air defense in Crimea. According to the to Russia, yesterday's evening, the Ukraine Air Force launched a ADM-160 mauled missile from the access towards Crimea to locate the air defenses and radar systems. So they're getting ready to try to take this bridge out. Just just had this horrible feeling. I don't know if you all have got it, uh, but I'm telling you, it was bad. Uh, the mauled the mauled is are used as decoys against radars in order to provoke the reaction and activation of anti-aircraft anti systems in order to locate them. American U-2S P-8, the MQ-9 Reaper, the British RC-135 is what we were talking about earlier, the French E-3F AWACS, accompanied by Raphael fighters, that's their fighting jets there in Europe, are conducting operations close to the Russian border with British reconnaissance aircraft came within 230 kilometers from Sevastopol and French AWACS 190 kilometers from uh, Sochi. P.A. Hey, Poseidons, we see those a lot. They're the ones that have been looking for the subs off the Florida coast and the Carolinas and up towards Philadelphia and Washington. We've been seeing the P.A.s. Now, the P.A.s are what we usually use, but they're all over the place there. And we also think the P.A. was in, involved in the uh, that oil line that was busted that they took out. It says the P.A. Poseidon Naval Corporation aircraft, the RQ-4B reconnaissance drone, flew in the, the area west of Crimea. At the same time, seven NATO reconnaissance and surveillance aircraft were flying in the Black Sea region, such as the E-3 radar flying 2X Airbus and 330-243 MRTT, Boeing P-8 Poseidon, the Boeing RC-135 River Joint, and the Northrop Grumman RQ-4B Global Hawk. 
Yesterday, the intensity of the NATO flights did not inc decrease as of the evening U.S. RQ-4B drone was operating south of the Crimea Bridge, while the Italian G-550 electronic data collection aircraft was operating over the Black Sea. At the same time, according to the Russians, NATO satellites are looking for Russian air defense positions all over the peninsula. In summary, the following happened in the last, in the last few days. Increased NATO air activity, we've, we've seen that on flight radar. ADM-160 mauled missile launches towards Crimea, dummies to see where the air defenses are. High intensity aerial photograph operations of the Crimea surface and the number of registration periods have doubled compared to the average indicating possible uh, preparations for new attacks. The U.S. green light for Ukraine to hit Crimea with attack of missiles. According to Next Half TV citing the New York Times report, the United States has given permission to them to hit the bridge. The relevant information has allegedly given to the New York Times by the U.S. Pentagon officials. The goal of attack them is to put more pressure on Crimea. Ukraine forces are able to use recently delivered long-range missiles to effectively attack Russian forces in Crimea. According to the U.S. media, Kiev received about 100 of these missiles at a range of about 300 miles. However, yesterday morning traffic was inter uh, interrupted in various parts of the Crimea Peninsula, such as Sevastopol and the Crimea Bridge. Later, it became known to, uh, that the passengers of the cars on the Crimea Bridge were suspended for about 37 minutes. Moscow had information that attack was imminent. The U.S. administration hopes in recent decision to send the long-range missiles to Ukraine will encourage Germany to do the same thing with the Taurus missiles, something Berlin has so far ruled out, U.S. officials said Thursday. On the Taurus issue, the decision is up to Germany, a senior U.S. Department official said yesterday, speaking on the condition of an anonymity. When asked about the possibility of Berlin sending such German-made missiles to Kiev, but certainly, the supply of attackums by the U.S.'s previous decision of the United Kingdom and France to provide Ukraine with long-range missiles, we hope, will play a role, he added. Now, Kiev has also been asking Germany for months to supply Ukraine military with the Taurus cruise missiles, which have an effective range of about 500 miles. Berlin, however, has far refused to proceed with sending missiles of that type, fearing the escalation in the war. Well, I hate to tell you, it's already happened. If they take out that bridge with the attack of missiles, you can pretty much guarantee it. What we've told you is coming pretty quick. That's the rapture of the church. You're going to say, why, why is this bridge so important? Well, for one thing, Russia would not be able to get most of its forces into Ukraine without that bridge. That's where most of their supplies, their tanks and everything. Russia built that bridge, for one thing. Crimea is literally part of Russia now. By taking out that bridge, you're taking out, I don't care what Ukraine and America says, they voted to become a Russian society. So that is basically Russian soil. And if they take that out on Russian soil, you do the math. It was enough for the Holy Spirit to give me a really bad feeling about this bridge. That this bridge, taking it out, was going to bring hell down upon the earth. It's part of it. That's why I tell you to hold on to Jesus both hands. Don't let go right now. Let me tell you something. We're in the most of, I promise you, right from this point, since that eclipse on the 8th, while everybody else went back to sleep, this is the most important time in human history. I've told you. It's only going to get worse. It will get worse. NATO aircraft activated after waves of Russian strikes. Aircraft from Poland's Air Force and also NATO's allies have been scrambled following the Russian attacks on Ukraine. Poland's RZ, RSZ Operational Command said Friday that the aircraft were operational, warning people that this could increase noise levels of the southeastern part of the country. The announcement came as Russia conducted a massive strike on the energy facilities across Ukraine's region. Uh, Ukraine's Air Force said that it had been had. Had, had it destroyed 21 out of its 24 missiles that come in. Activity of the Russian Federation is also being observed in connection to the missile strikes carried out against objects located in the territory of Ukraine. A statement by a Polish military said all necessary procedures to ensure the safety of our airspace has been initiated. 
In a follow-up, several uh, hours later, Poland's armed forces said that the following an, another wave of long-range attacks in Ukraine, Polish and Allied aircraft has been activated, according to the translation. There is no claim that Russian missiles strayed into Polish airspace. Poland has said Russia would turn its attention to members of the alliance following Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Other Western leaders have also warned of this, although they have been rejected by Putin. Putin has made very uh, made has made nuclear threats towards the West and de deployed atomic weapons in Belarus, which borders Poland, and fellow neighbor members Lithuania and Latvia. This is the Baltics. On Thursday, Polish Foreign Minister uh, Radu uh, I guess on my computer it looks like Slaw. Sawaski said war between Russia and NATO would end Moscow's and uh, would be a Moscow's defeat. In the overnight strikes on Friday, Ukraine's largest private energy company, DTEK, reported that four of its thermal nuclear power plants have suffered serious damage without specific, uh, being specific where the affected facilities were. Russia has stepped up strikes against Ukraine's critical infrastructure, destroying thermal nuclear plants across the country, including the Tripila plant, the main electricity supplier for really the, the, the capital there in Ukraine. Some of the Friday night's attacks took place hundreds of miles from the front line, and the Lev, Oblast, Southern Russian cruise missile, mus missiles and hypersonic missiles hit two energy facilities there, according to the regional governor. Let's see, while the head of Ivano a blast said the energy facilities were targeted in the strike also. So they're hitting all their energy factors, their gas, their oil, anything like that. They're taking it out. Their airports, railways. It's a full-scale assault upon Ukraine right now as we speak. And make sure you always keep those people in your prayers. A lot of people dying there. Also, it was we saw two or three, there's videos now out of, Two or three huge convoys headed towards Poland. Uh, we're, and we're, we're seeing it day by day. Massive, I'm talking massive military convoys headed towards that way to the border. They believe, like I do, that Belarus will try to come in with the Russian troops and try to take the Sawaki Gap. It's about 90 miles. We've discussed this many times. But there's no other reason why Russia and Belarus are massing troops there. They're going to try to cut off the Baltics. We haven't seen anything like it since World War II, people. But it's in the process. That's happening right under your feet while Americans have not a clue that this stuff's even happening. On the five, what we call uh, legacy media, all run by the same families, they're not going to tell you. You're not going to find out they own the newspapers, the radio stations. They pretty much own everything. They're going to keep you done. People's like, how do you know this stuff? Because we dig. And if you don't dig, you're not going to know the truth, what's going on around the world. You're going to get one view, and it's not the view that you need. They're going to keep the American people stupid and ignorant. That's where they want them. They figured they could do that since 2020. That's what they did. They went out and literally controlled the narrative. We don't live in a free country anymore. You can forget that. That's gone. That died in 2020. Understand, the America that we knew in 2020, it died. And it's not coming back. God knows that. That's why the rapture of the church is coming. Because literally, he used America to keep Israel safe for so long. And now that is no longer the case. Our country's planning to do something really bad. I think we all know it. And they're going to do something really bad. That's why they're eliminated. By now, just trust the gospel. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Call upon Jesus right now. I'm telling you, your time, each day goes by, it gets less. Don't matter what you've done, people, just call upon him, and he'll come and save you, and seal you to the day of redemption, and it's not going to be much longer. These fools are not going to stop until they blow the world up. We all know it. You know it. I know it. They are not going to stop. God's already told me many times. They've already made up their minds, and he has too. That's why the rapture was set from the day before 
all this, the day of time, he already had the rapture planned. It's not a date we can predict or anything else because it's already been done. And one day soon, it will happen. Now, man's going to tell you it's going to be a certain day. It's going to be on a feast day. No, it's not what the Bible says. The Bible says it'll be in a day you think not. That tells me it's not a feast day. Okay? Now, I know some of these guys are really smart, and I'm not trying to doubt them. I'm just telling you scripture. You will not know the day. And I've already seen the rapture in my dreams. And I, as much as I'm looking for it, it catches me off guard. It's not a day that we're expecting. So it's not a feast day. Pretty much, and there's been many others that have seen the same thing. It's not just me. We're not trying to do it to make people mad. That's got to be a certain time. No. These guys are very smart to teach us these appointed days and stuff. They're very intelligent. I love each and one of them. They're my family. But I've always, it's like the Holy Spirit just tells me it's not going to be on one of those days. It's going to be a day you least expect. That's what the Bible says. You will not come as a thief to most people. They won't see it coming. And we're getting close to it. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for another day, Lord. Thank you for letting us be awake and see all these signs. And we see everything you're doing, Lord. And we understand that we're running out of time to get people on the ark. Help us, Lord. Get ourselves out there to where people will hear and wake up in time in Jesus' name. Ask you, Lord, to watch over all the watchmen and watchwomen around the world and their families. The ones preaching the correct gospel, Lord, that are out there telling everybody not to fear. But Jesus is near. Ask me to protect them and their families in these dark days as they come against all of the ones who are trying to get the truth out. Protect them and their families with a shield in Jesus' name and will be done. Ask me, Lord, to watch over the Jews. We know what's coming for them. We see Jacob's trouble brewing each and every day, and we know we're on the verge of it. I ask you, Lord, to just be with them in these dark days to come in Jesus' name. Ask me to watch over the sick, the conflicted, also the ones that are homeless and the ones that need to get them what they need, Lord, to get them to the rapture so we can get out of here. In Jesus' name, it will be done. Ask me to watch over the innocents and around the world as evil lurks around every corner now to get them to the point of the rapture so they can get out of here also. In Jesus' name, ask me to watch over all the ones who come against us, against me and this channel and all the other channels that you lighten their hearts in the last days. In Jesus' name, ask you, Lord Jesus, to watch over the ones that come here each and every day to put their family members and loved ones in the comments. You know each and every name and every background. They will be saved before it's too late. In Jesus' name, I have a total faith in it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just putting a roof over our head and food on our table. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you do. In your name I pray. And amen. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for all those who bought me coffees today and all those who bought the super stickers here on YouTube and the support you do for the program. God bless each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube. Letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep. Those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.